Thank you. All right. So we good on the OBJ issue so far? I'm sure somebody else throw it back in there, so we may end up talking about it again. But let's move on to our next topic. Next topic of discussion. Can y'all see that? Yep. Yep. Oh, let me hide this. Carson Palmer came out and said that he thinks Joe Burrow is the best quarterback in the league. The best quarterback in the league. All all teams with quarterbacks. He thinks Joe Burrow is the best in the league. I start with you, Mike. Oh no, Mike Beard. Start with you, Brandon. I don't care what Carson Palmer says. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Like, he, he's, he's not the best quarterback in the league. He's very good. Uh, but there's, you know, you got Pat Mahomes, you got Lamar Jackson at the very least ahead of him. Uh, so, no, I, I don't care what former Bengal Carson Palmer says about current Bengal Joe Burrow. And you know what? It didn't even dawn on me until right before you said it that he played for them. <laughs> like, right, at, right when you was you know, saying you didn't care what he thought about him, I'm thinking, I forgot that son's going to play for Cincinnati. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mike, what do you think about that? Look, he he got to say it, they made me rich, so I'm gonna talk. I am, yeah, I got I got to ride with that, I guess. But I don't know, man. It, it, I've seen some people online uh, speaking about how you know they felt they had a racial undertone to what he was saying, um, and I'm sure he was throwing a little shot somewhere in there. Uh, you know, it could be. Homerism, like 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 Brodney said, you know he played for the team and and that team beat him last, so uh, he he just throwing a shot there. But look, the problem, you know, these young guys when they go to cities like that, right? They put the pressure on them, you know. What I mean, like just let them just let them play, let them live, let them let them progress the way that he's doing. He's a very very good quarterback right but to say you know what i mean like put putting that undue pressure on him it's a little you know but he's damn good but this you just putting a target on his back i feel like you know yeah. where he's he's there he's balling he's he's had two two deep playoff runs he's headed in the right direction you know just let that man ball but you putting a target on that man back oh it is oh it is uh jose yeah no i i, I think <laughs> I don't take much into that, much stock into that. If, if, if you know, if he, if he's, if, if he's just riding with the Bengals, and he's just like, hey, I think he's the best quarterback in 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 the league. That's fine. He's one of the top quarterbacks, right? That's not, it's, it's not that big of a stretch. Um, you know, it's the same thing if if Ray Lewis says Lamar Jackson is is the <laughs> best quarterback in the league. Yeah, of course he's gonna say that. That's that's his team. That's his guy. So I mean, I I, I don't see much into that, but. I mean, we all know Pat Mahomes is the best quarterback in the universe, mm-hmm. right? Um, but that's fine. I, I didn't think that's a shot at anybody in particular. So, I mean, that, that's just him just, just riding for the Bengals. You know? Yeah, like I said, he's a former Bengal. What do you, I mean, what are you supposed to say about your former team? But also, if you look at it, Kansas City was his division rival because he played for the Raiders. Mm-hmm. And you don't know what kind of bad blood he has going on with that. But more importantly, it's kind of like the situation of Jordan Palmer. He was an NFL quarterback, and now he's a quarterback coach. Hmm. But he couldn't <laughs> stick with a team, so you know I don't take the Palmers too serious. So <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at Hendo? You laughing at me? Huh? Jose, you no, laughing at Hendo? No, I'm laughing. I was laughing at Hendo. Okay. <laughs> What'd you put? Uh, Steven asked if we get a call in for this show. I said no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! Four thirty. 4 30, you guys. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, yes. Soon Wednesday. to be Thursday, Friday. A uh, lot. Yeah. <laughs> even got some smoke for us. I can, I can see it already. Right. Right. <laughs> Them emojis on fire. <laughs> Chris? Um, I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but, right. um, you know, some opinions are very wrong, and that's one of them. Because um, <laughs> there's no way that Joe Burrow's on the same level as Pat Mahomes. That dude right now is on a trajectory to be. The, the great one of the greats i mean just right now with how how much success he's had in such a short amount of time that dude is just he's unreal so i understand going with your boy from you know cincinnati and all of that but you, you're wrong right 
Uh, DDSQ uh, donated five. He says, I'm sick of this narrative that props up Herbert <laughs> and Trevor Lawrence. Burrow is good on the verge of being great. They want these guys to be the standard trying to hold on to in the past. Mahomes is the new standard, period. Which And he is. Mahomes is a mix of the old school and the new school. He's the he's perfect blend of both to me. He can run enough to to make plays happen, and he has a freaking cannon on his shoulders. Mm-hmm. And he got it up here too. But yeah. part of having it up here is the guy that's coaching him. Because he mm-hmm. he would tell you he didn't really learn how to read defenses to his second year in the NFL. Dang. Yeah. He, he, he said that out of his own mouth. And that's probably mm-hmm. from being in that room with um, – with uh, the enemy mm-hmm. and, and Reed and them pounding. Okay, if you see this, do that. If see mm-hmm. this, do that. If they do, you know, just going over exit, going over situations, mm-hmm. and that's how you learn football going over situations. So, and so let's 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 do this real quick. Top four quarterbacks. Mm. <laughs> Top four quarterbacks. And y'all put y'all in, in the comment in the comment section if you're watching on the replay. I mean, put it in the chat box if you're watching the replay. Put it in the comment section. Top four quarterbacks in the league. I try. I try to go first. Give y'all time to think. One Pat. Two. Burrow. No. 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 <laughs> Burrow's in my top four. Okay. He's in my top four too. Of course, definitely. Uh, so, Pat, forget it. Burrow, Lamar, A. Rock. Mm. That's my four. When I said no, 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 I was thinking about where I was going to put A. Rock. Okay. Anybody want to jump in and go second? Uh, I would say Mahomes, Lamar, Burrow, and. Now, are we talking about for next year or in general? Uh, just up until I was thinking in general because if I if I would say for next year, I would have put Hurts in front of A Rod. Mm. I'm just thinking in you know just you just do you don't just, don't, 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 just, yeah, just do you because I'm going back and forth right now between Josh Allen and Jalen Hurts. Facts uh, mm-hmm. and Allen Allen just you know he 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 looks too much like a, what I thought he was just with with you know. Group, Good coaching, good talent around him. So I'm going to go Jalen Hurts, even though you know he's got that same kind of scenario. But he doesn't make the he doesn't he doesn't make the ridiculous plays that Josh Allen seems to make uh, on a, on a fairly regular basis. And so I, gonna, I would say he got yeah. more than than Josh Allen. Yeah, 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 for sure. But like, I'm just saying that Josh Allen, you know, he gets into situations sometimes, and he's just like, I'm going to go uh, Jamarcus right now, or I'm going to go James. <laughs> right now. Uh, so That's, I'm going to yeah, hey, go. Mike, what's going on behind your head, Mike? <laughs> It's a ghost. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's, it's Mahomes, Lamar, Burrow, uh, Hurts with Allen, a very close, very close five. Gotcha. Anybody else? Yeah, I, I almost the same as B's. Uh, Lamar, uh, Mahomes, Lamar, Burrow, Hurts. Uh, but yeah, I, I, was, I, I had to think for a second because Josh Allen was balling for a minute, but he kind of slid a little bit last year. Mm-hmm. He, like right. Rodney said, he's a turnover machine. That's what yeah. keeps him out of my top four. He plays Turning the ball the over and thinking that because he is this big, strong guy, that he mm-hmm. can just run over people. Like he, yeah. he, you know, and he turns the ball over. That's why a lot of his fumbles come in. And then his arm's so strong, he think he can fit every ball in every window. Yep. I'm going to go uh, Pat Mahomes, Lamar, Barrow, and I'm going to go Allen, only because he's been doing it longer. Yeah. Now I give Jalen Hurts his props, but even with all the mishaps, listen, if it wasn't for the, that that uh, Kansas City, de- uh, that Buffalo defense in 13 seconds, <laughs> we might have seen Josh Allen in the Super Bowl. Because he was, he was cooking that night. He was cooking that night. Chris? Yes, Jamar Chase was cooking. That night, <laughs> <laughs> Jamar um, Chase went into beast mode. I'm gonna go the same as Jose, uh, but uh, for Mahomes, Lamar, um, uh, Burrow, and um, and Hurts. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's my top four. I, I've Allen, like you know, I, I think we would probably see a different 
uh, trajectory with Allen if he still had Brian Dayball. And we just mm. spoke about mm. how important coaching is. And he lost Dayball, and he kind of went back to that that college style hero ball where he just he puts everything on his shoulders, and he ends up you know just trying to do too much and making the mistake. So um, yeah, he would be on there, but. I mean, the step that Jalen Hurts took, I mean, is just is ridiculous. I mean, and, and it's not just his legs. Like, I, I know people did want to discredit him and stuff like that, but he's an accurate quarterback. And that dude, he he's one of the – since since the Alabama days, since the, the Oklahoma days, he's always been accurate. Yep. And uh, that's one of the things I love the most about his game. And, and he took it to, uh, uh, you know, the next level. So he, he's definitely up there for me too. Got you, got you, got you. Uh, next up, next up, next up. Appreciate that. That was that was a good little spinoff, Un- unexpected. Uh, we got three topics left. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know what's funny?